Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will cover how to link axes. Two or more axes can be linked by scale, limits, length, position, and or tick mark spacing. To link two axes, select the axis that you wish to link to another. This will be referred to as the dependent axis, since it is dependent upon the axis it is linked to. Click the Link Axis tab in the Property Manager. In the Link Axis list, select the axis you wish to link the dependent axis to. This will be referred to as the Controlling Axis. Now that the Controlling Axis has been set for the dependent axis, we can specify what properties are being controlled by the Controlling Axis. Once this is done, the linked property of the dependent axis will change as soon as that property is changed for the Controlling Axis. The dependent axis's linked property or properties are shown in the property manager as linked and thus cannot be edited manually. There are six different axis properties that can be linked. Axis scale, tick spacing, limits, length, x position, and y position. By default, when you create a 2D graph in Grapher that has one X and one Y axis, the Y position of the X axis is linked to the Y axis, and the X position of the Y axis is linked to the X axis. These defaults can be changed by clicking File, Defaults, clicking an axis in the Axes section on the left, and clicking the Link Axis tab on the right. With the current defaults, changing the position of the plot by typing new X and Y values on the Layout Ribbon Bar tab, or by clicking and dragging the plot in the plot window, moves both axes with it. The vertical position of an axis is controlled with the Link Y Position option, and the horizontal position of an axis is controlled by the Link X Position option. If we click on Y Axis 1 in the Object Manager, on the Link Axis page in the Property Manager, we can see that the Link Axis is X Axis 1, and the box next to Link X Position is checked. This means changing the X Position of the Controlling Axis, or clicking and dragging it horizontally, will move the Dependent Axis too, so the linked axes keep the same relative positioning. With the Link X Position box checked, the X Offset option is enabled. Positive values move the axis to the right, and negative values move it to the left. The Link Y Position option is disabled since the Y position of the X axis is already being controlled by the Y axis. If we click on X Axis 1 in the Object Manager, on the Link Axis page in the Property Manager, we can see that the link axis is Y axis 1, and the box next to link Y position is checked. This means changing the Y position of the controlling axis, or clicking and dragging it vertically, will move the X axis too. So again, the two axes keep the same relative positioning. With the link Y position box checked, the Y Offset option is enabled. Positive values will move the axis up, and negative values move it down. The Link X Position option is disabled since the X position of the Y axis is already being controlled by the X axis. Before we go over the other axes properties that can be linked, let's add another axis by using the Duplicate Axis command. By selecting an axis, and clicking Graph Tools, Add to Graph, Duplicate Axis. We can add a copy of the selected graph at a selected position. The copy has the scale, tick mark spacing, length, and limits linked to the original axis. The positioning of this axis is not linked by default. Check the boxes next to Link X Position and Link Y Position so that this axis moves with the others. The scale of an axis is determined by the Link Axis Scale option. If this box is checked, 
changing the scale of the controlling axis changes the scale of the dependent axis as well. The spacing between the tick marks is determined by the Link Tick Spacing option. If this box is checked, changing the spacing on the ticks page for the controlling axis changes the spacing for the dependent axis to the same thing. The minimum and maximum limits displayed on the axis are controlled by the Link Limits option. When this option is checked, changing the length of the controlling axis changes the length of the dependent axis as well. Additionally, when this box is checked, the limits y equals f of x equals field becomes available. This lets you define an equation for the axis linking. By default, this is set to x meaning there is a one-to-one -one scaling relationship between the controlling and dependent axes. Click the Edit Function button to choose from existing equations or type a new equation into the box. In this case, the controlling axis, Y axis 1, is displaying temperature in degrees Celsius, so we can show temperature in degrees Fahrenheit on Y axis 2 by typing x times 9 over 5 plus 32 into this field. The length of an axis is controlled by the link length option. If this box is checked, changing the length of the controlling axis will change the length of the dependent axis as well. Additionally, if this box is checked, the length scale option becomes available. This is set to 1 by default, meaning the controlling and dependent axes are the same length. If this is set to 0 0.5, the dependent axis is compressed to be half as long as the controlling axis. This concludes the video training for linking axes in Grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.